Hi, welcome to another flute review where we're going to be taking a closer look at one of the flutes from my collection. Today we're looking at a flute that is made by Brent Haynes of Wood Sounds Flute. I bought this one from John Hewling. He is a recording artist that has been playing flute for over 30 years now. And this was one that uh, he had offered for sale just, you know, as, as flute players, we kind of, sometimes the flutes come and go. Um, and I saw something, I, I don't remember where I saw the post, but um, I saw something that he was offering some flutes for sale, and I bought two, actually. This is one of them. And this is a very, very large flute. Um, it's in the key of low D, and um, it's the, the main flute wood is myrtle, which comes from here in Oregon. The end caps are cocobolo, and then it has a ring at each end of Alaskan yellow cedar burl, and a very small ring of ebony. The block is the Spirit Claw block, and it also has uh, the Alaskan Yellow Cedar Burl for the main portion of the block with an ebony base. It features the shoulders, raised shoulders that are machined um, the nest is actually, it's a raised nest, but it's machined down to create the shoulders on either side to help keep the block uh, centered and straight. The flue is in the flute body, and the true sound hole measures 9 sixteenths of an inch wide by a quarter inch long. The block does have a chimney and the wings extend just a little bit past the um, true sound hole. So definitely the full length and just a, a little bit more. The typical Wood Sounds flute mouthpiece design, which this kind of angles up a little bit and then comes straight again, ovalized, the breath hole is um, 5 sixteenths of an inch in diameter. The bore is one and a quarter inches in diameter. has a pretty thin wall thickness. Um, I'm going to say maybe, maybe 3 sixteenths. Um, it might be a little bit under that one. And it has gorgeous turquoise inlay all the way down what I'm going to call the the fingerboard if you will down the finger hole area and around the uh, direction holes here beautifully done beautifully done 19 and a half inches for the bore length, 31 and a half inches overall length, end to end. This flute was made by Wood Sounds Flutes back in 2009, um, judging from what Brent Haynes has told me about the way that his. Uh, numbering system works. It has the old style Wood Sounds Flute logo on there. And Wood Sounds Flute is now located in 
Mapleton, Utah. I believe when this was made, they were located in Washington, I think. I've talked to Brent Haynes many, many times, and he is very passionate about the way that he makes his flutes. These are a solid one-piece bore construction, so they bore all the way up and stop. They bore the uh, slow air chamber and stop, and then they add in the mouthpiece so the slow air chamber is a larger diameter than the breath hole. That leaves a solid, solid piece of wood here for the wall. He has a, a beautiful, smooth, polished, high gloss finish that is just mirror-like, and they stay that way. Um, it takes it takes a pretty severe hit to cause a dent in these uh, little little bumps and things that might dent uh, another maker's flutes don't have much effect on a wood sounds flute is my personal experience with these so the the finish is extremely durable a very very hard finish and uh, the way that he polishes them and everything when they're done is it just produces a beautiful, deep, mirror-like finish. Just exquisite, exquisite work. It does have a little bit large finger holes, and I think that's because he uses a little bit larger bore size than some makers do, uh, at least on this given um, representation. Not a problem for me. I have kind of short, stubby little fingers, and I'm able to cover them very easily. Has a big, bold voice. of this flute. Love the voice of this flute. Nice and clear, nice and clean, fairly bold. Um, it doesn't have as much in the way of higher harmonics as some other D flutes might, but um, big voice, Nice, great volume for projection if you're just playing this on its own outside or whatever. The, the voice carries very, very well. It's a great performance flute. So, which sounds flutes created and, and uh, overseen by Brent Haynes 
He still does a lot of hands-on work. He does have right now, at, at the time of this posting, I know at least two or three people working for him, uh, not including his family. Um, and they are, from what I can understand from some of the videos he's posted, they're struggling trying to keep up with some of their orders. Um, they don't have a lot of flutes available in stock right now. Um, they're selling a lot of flutes and a lot of them are special orders. This was a custom order, or I, I excuse me, this was a custom flute that um, John Hewling claimed that he uh, handpicked from some other ones that were probably available at that time. And I don't know exactly, I'm, I'm assuming that he got it close to when this was made back in 2009. And I know he reused it for some recordings. Very, very happy that I was able to add this into my collection. I love the voice of it. Um, I've got a few D flutes, low D flutes, and um, Don't know if this is always my favorite, but I, I love the way this plays and I love the way it records. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching another flute review. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Click the little bell down over there so that you can be notified the next time I do post another video, whether it be taking a closer look at one of the flutes from my collection could be a music video, mainly featuring Native American flute, either solo or with other accompanying instruments. Could be a tutorial on how to play these amazing, enchanting instruments that can be very, very easy uh, if you just play the regular minor scale. Going up, this is like most of mine, a six-hole flute. Just walking up the scale, keeping this hole covered, and back down. And that's the basic notes and the basic scale. I do have tutorials on beginning flute lessons and also on a little bit more advanced. Um, kind of beyond the basics. And you can find those if you go to my YouTube page and look under playlists. I have quite a few different playlists there so you're not looking through the hundreds of videos that I have to find something that might be a little more specific for you. Thanks again for watching. Hope you have a great day. Take care.